Brewing Company and this is their Where Does the Time Go? It's an Imperial or Double New England IPA then 8% ABV uh, It's brewed with Strata, uh, Idaho 7, Citra and Mosaic hops so Strata are one of the new kind of hops that everyone seems to be going on about a bit like um, uh, a Sabro before it, it's, it's kind of it's moved on to this this hop variety. I'm, I've never had anything with with the, that hop in before that hop variety before. So it contains water, barley, wheat, uh, hops, and yeast. Uh, let's have a look at the cannage here. Canned on the 18th of May of 2020, best before the end of the 18th of the 11th, which is November, of course, uh, 2020. Drink fresh. Purchased at the Little Swift in Margate, you know all the score about that one, all the information is down below. Um, so yeah, another Verdant beer. I've had more Verdant beers this year than probably since when they first started getting onto the scene. Their beers were a lot easier and no one knew who they were kind of thing. So happy days, 440ml can, 8% ABV. Um, big old lump of a beer so we'll just reuse one of our glasses that I've used already very professional here god that does look quite thick even on the pour right okay one finger white head really tight jammed in bubbles on that one really is I mean looking quite pale on camera but it's actually quite a dark it's more that, this side of the light. Yeah. Dense, soup like. Mmm, interesting one. Give it a swirl and a sniff then. Oh my word, pungent. Real pungent. Mango. It's not often I say mango with an IPA these days. Um, this is bold. This has almost got like um, a cereal grain kind of quality to the beer. Almost like, yeah, oats. You can actually smell the oats almost in this. Mango, pineapple. Almost like a Tropical porridge doesn't make sense, I know, but it's, it's got that kind of Quaker oats with um, like peach, mango, apricots, a bit of pineapple. It's one of them. It smells like a decent body to the beer. Eight percent. Not getting any alcohol, but it's just the whole. It's sort of like a grain, the grains and the, the whole tropical fruit notes, and it smelled really kind of like body wise, like a, a bolder body to the beer. Interesting one on the aroma. Let's give it a try on the taste. Cheers. Don't swear generally in my reviews, but man. Wow, that is, that is some beer. God, man. Wow, it's really balanced as well. I'm just going through the whole kind of beer, the body, flavor. ABV lacking for an eight percent beer. You can tell it's an eight percent beer, not not through, as I said, not through the actual ABV, alcohol itself. It's more of a the body, the depth of flavour. But it's very rounded. There's no edges on this one at all. It's just a little bit thicker. I think, think for me that's the only reason I'd say it's a higher ABV beer. It's just the general feel of the beer the body, the kind of, it, it, it's it's getting towards a full body but it's not, it's just, it's the upper end of a medium. 
all these things together with the flavour, the kind of the slight shade of the beer would indicate to me that it's a higher ABV beer, but not through the alcohol. It is fantastic. Wow. This is probably the best verdant beer I've had this year. Um, it's really cool to actually be able to get hold of this locally, um, at, at least for a limited period of time. I'm glad I've got two. Um, so let's try and break it down a bit more then. So the first thing that hits me is the general body of the beer rather than the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel follows on not, sh not short, um, following on behind. The general body is just like, it's, it's gloopy, it's thick, it's like a soup. And I said that during the actual look of the beer. And the, you know, as it was pouring, you could just tell it was a thicker bodied beer. And that comes through on the flavour. Apart from that, you've got this lovely kind of, like a, a multi-grain kind of body. The oats comes through as it did on the aroma. Then the taste, the actual f fruit flavours. A very, very rounded, very smooth, which is more the kind of uh, the body of the beer. I say, mango, apricots, pale stone fruits kind of feel. Followed up by more of a kind of a, a piney, resiny, That, you know, that ilk of a beer. Definitely a piney, slightly dank, musky I call it rather than dank. You know, that musky hop, sweaty hop kind of feel. It's got that in, in, in you know, following on behind. Once the actual beer, I've had a few mouthfuls now, of course, while I'm, you know, jabbering away, but. It's starting to coat the palate more. The more I drink, it's more coating. The flavours hang around more after I put the beer down and talked for another half an hour, that kind of deal. But the flavour's still residual on the palate and the, in the mouth. Another indication of the ABV, without the alcohol kind of hit, if you like. Um, a fantastic beer. It's just a fantastic beer. Um, big, bold, flavoursome. That's it. Um, one of the, one of the better beers I've had this year for sure. Um, if you're a hop head, you like double IPAs, your New England stuff. This, for me, for my palate, is pretty special. Um, definitely the best verdant beer I've had this year. Um, so for me, in terms of a rating, then for me on this one, uh, for me, I'm going to say for me again. Um, I'm going to give this beer. Oh, it's really, really is pushing it. Um, I had a good beer earlier. This is slightly better. I'm giving this beer a nine and a half out of ten. It's um, a four point seven five on the untapped scale for me for this palette and this can this is fantastic um, it's everything I want in a in a double IPA or New England double IPA not the West Coast but the New England style this is it um, I'd love to try a triple IPA as in triple New England style IPA um, not many breweries do it but this is absolutely a cracking beer there's no other words words for it um, so we go to untap see what they say I mean I don't know whether what, what this uh, strata hop is all about I don't know but I will do my research I should have done it before I come on but there you go I'm not professional um, 1934 total check-ins 1704 in the last 30 days 1,576 total ratings then, 
this is untapped. Uh, coming in at 4.29. Yeah. It, it's a fantastic beer. Um, yeah. It's one of the best beers I've had from these guys for a long time. So, check it out. This is uh, Where Does the Time Go? Indeed. This year, it's either gone extremely quickly or extremely slowly, depending on what your circumstances. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you've had it before. Uh, check out the Verdant playlist down below. Um, if you're local in the Fanit area where I live, uh, check out the Little Swift down below as well for their weekly uh, offerings um, for like beers, wines, ciders, cheese, meats, all that sort of thing. Check them out down below. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you're all keeping safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.